Okay guys, let's talk about why Sweden is such a good country for van life and reason number one in our opinion is of course nature. There are so many beautiful landscapes here, forests, waterfalls, mountain rivers, even mountains and the autumn is really amazing here too. And if you're late in the season, you'll be able to experience the northern lights. Uh, they start somewhere in September usually and last throughout winter. So usually it's pretty cold, but it's definitely worth it. So reason number two is actually Almanret, which also can be translated as common right. And there is something Bjorn can explain better than me as a native of Sweden. It's a very good thing about Sweden. It's a law that says that you're allowed to camp or go or stay wherever you want for 24 hours. As long as you don't destroy anything or like steal stuff or break into other people's property, which are uh, a fence around them, stuff like that. But in the forest, on the mountains, wherever you would like to camp, it's allowed for 24 hours, which there, is really there nice. There is no fence yeah, yeah. around it. Number three is that the areas that are unpopulated are very vast and it's very easy to find camping spots. There are many beautiful places and usually there are no people there either. It depends, of course, on how popular the place is. But and the season. And the season, yeah. But uh, it's really easy to find beautiful secluded spots just for yourself. And usually there's, uh, not everywhere, but m most places have like a good parking lot and maybe a little picnic table, stuff like that. In Sweden, you can find uh, private owners that actually make a campsite for RVs and people who are traveling the country. They uh, will make sure that you can fill up water there and stay at the place, barbecue. Sometimes you can even hook up to electricity. And usually there's a small fee or sometimes it's even voluntary, like you give what you can give and that's enough, which is really cool. There are also many campsites uh, around the road, not camping places, but more like uh, resting, resting places. areas with tables and barbecues uh, along the roads where you can drive in closer to lakes or rivers to water and that are absolutely free and uh, you can stay there while traveling. And usually there's big trash bins and stuff so you can get rid of your trash and stuff there for free. Mm -hmm. So reason number five is free water or clean water here in Sweden. So we actually haven't paid for water for over a year now because it is free to refill your water at any gas station here. And um, Swedish people are very good at putting up signs if this water is not drinkable. There will always be a sign that you cannot use it as drinking water. We even refilled the water from mountain rivers and lakes up yeah. north. And water is generally really clean here. Yeah. As long as it's um, stream moving water yeah. or mountain lake, you can just drink straight out of it. So if you go on a hike, you can just take your bottle empty with you and uh, refill it on the way. So number six is actually foraging possibilities. Uh, there are so many forests here. If you're in the right season, you can pick shrooms or berries. There are so many blueberries, like almost in every forest yeah. up north. And also fishing possibilities. You can fish from a seashore or in uh, any lake. Some lakes have those. You gotta buy a daily card. It's usually between four and eight euros, depending on where you are. But uh, you can get so much fish for that, so it's definitely worth it. Or fishing from the seashore is for free. Yeah. Number seven is internet, and it's actually pretty easy to find internet here. Sometimes, if you find a very beautiful secluded spot, there is no internet there, but that's the choice you have to make. Yeah. But <laughs> overall, uh, overall, it's pretty easy to find nice spots with internet here in Sweden. It's pretty good coverage. Yeah, it's very good coverage. Unless if you're super far up in the mountains, maybe, but most places have very good connection. So if you are working remotely and still want to have that beautiful uh, lake view, Sweden is the place to go. Yes, definitely. And the last but not least, you do not have to know Swedish to travel here. Everybody, literally everybody, even if they say they're not, they, they are good in English here. And uh, most of the signs and all the information you need to know is in English. And most of the times even in German. So it's very easy to travel here, even if you don't know the language, which is uh, 
very good and practical for people visiting. So if you get uh, stuck or uh, need help and need to explain something, there is absolutely no problem. People will understand you. It's uh, very safe to travel here. Yeah, and actually we could talk about it too. That wasn't on the list. It is very safe to travel in Sweden, of course. Big, there are bad people in big towns, probably. We usually don't uh, drive in with the bus like to Stockholm. But even Stockholm, it's a, such a calm country. There is so little crime going on here. It's not very big chance of getting robbed or anything like no. that. Of course it happens, sadly, but it's not a huge risk. We've been sleeping with our windows open and the place where we come from, where we live in Sweden, people don't even lock their doors. So it's a very safe country. And um, the same goes pretty much, I guess, for the whole Scandinavia. Everything we talked about now, basically, I yeah. guess, goes for both Norway and Finland. These are very, very good countries for van life, not only Sweden, actually. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to help us out, please share and like this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. So what do you think? It's lemony. What does it say? I didn't like it. Huh. Nope. Keep spitting it out. No, no. What does it Hello. Hello. Hey, dog. Hey, what does it Hey, what does it Hello. He didn't like it. But so doesn't approve. <laughs> no, no, you do not approve. No, you didn't approve. No. Mm. But some bacon tonight. You will approve that. Yes, <laughs> yes you're gonna like that. Some smoked bacon. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go get some grass.